Well, hello. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mr. Delamar, and you are fortunate enough to be taking one of my English classes this semester. Um, I have to say, in 20 years of teaching, this looks like it's going to be one of the most exciting and interesting uh, years of my career, and I think that you probably would agree with that, that um, education looks a lot different than it has in the past. But I think it's going to bring some exciting new opportunities for us uh, for in-class, face-to-face instruction, as well as online instruction, uh, which presents a whole a lot of um, unique opportunities that I think that we will be able to take advantage of and have a very successful school year. And so I'm looking forward to it. One thing that I'm really excited about is the smaller cohorts. You know, um, most of the classes, most of your cohorts, whether you're in A, B, or C, I don't think I have any that are more than about seven students, and some are even smaller than that. So that gives us a lot of time for, you know, discussions and really getting to know each other and build uh, unique relationships. Um, and I think that this is going to be important. Um, it always is in a English and language arts class, you know, where speaking and writing and um, uh, reading are so important and really delving into the human experience. Of course, American literature is a key component in um, all of the classes, whether you're in AP or English 3. Um, and so I like to refer to it as the American experience uh, or even experiment because as far as countries go, we're just a baby and we're still developing, right? You know, and so it's a real learning opportunity for us. And we see how um, culturally and socially literature and history tie together. So that's going to be an important part of our class. Um, I just wanted to point out to you um, that if you have not already, if you didn't get your syllabus and you're wondering how to get into the classroom codes, I have them here. First period is this code here. I hope you can see that. C three seven six K T H. Again, those are all um, lowercase um, letters. Second period is X. Y M S E three O, um, and then fourth period is P, as in Paul S M J G I T. Again, all lowercase letters. Okay, um, so let me just make sure that you can see that. Okay. Um, and that looks good. Uh, so we are going to start slow because we've been out of school for a while. So we're going to start with the basics. And I really do believe in, um, you know, beginning with doing warm ups in the beginning of class, whether you're here or at home. So the, the way the structure is going to work, I'm going to film the bell ringers of the warm up activities that will be grammar and vocabulary. And there will be some more videos to follow where I'll show you the expectations, whether you're here or at home. So if you're here, you will be in a, I'll be filming, not you, but the lesson. And then at home, you guys will be just kind of following along with that. And then you'll have an activity, probably a novel project to begin with an AP or a reading of a novel in English three, if you're in fourth period. Okay. And, um, then we'll be doing more discussion-based things while we are in class and more critical thinking project-based. I love doing, um, you know, working together in project, uh, on, um, you know, uh, projects that are group-oriented or singular, and then we each are responsible for a piece and we bring it all to the table and we discuss and really work on our critical thinking and speaking skills, right? Um, but it's going to be very important that you go ahead and get organized. So I, in the syllabus, if you came by during your designated time, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, and picked up your syllabus, this is all in there. But just to uh, show you, I do want you to have a three-ring binder, right, that is at least an inch to an inch and a half thick. And I want you to have five subject dividers, of course, college uh, ruled paper, um, you know, blue and black ink pens, pencils, and the standard 
uh, accoutrement for uh, classroom materials, right? But I would like for you to label your notebook grammar, vocabulary, literature, writing, and projects. And that's for no matter which class that you're in for me, first period, second period, or fourth period, um, I want you to have an, a notebook that's just reserved for English, okay? So because you're gonna be getting a lot of handouts and things like that. Uh, not as many as in a normal case, but you will be taking your own notes um, and I will usually provide handouts online and you can print those out at home so there's not as, as much exchange of paperwork and things between us as has been um, per the guidelines for um, you know safe schools during this time of uh, this COVID-19. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do, but just let you know that I am really looking forward to meeting each and every one of you in person. Again, I'm excited about these um, smaller classes. We'll really have a lot of opportunity to get to know each other. If you're at home, um, whether you're here or at home, you need to make sure that you log in through ClassLink um, and that you check on each one of your classes, Google Classrooms each day because we can, your teachers can see that you've logged in and how long you have been logged in. Um, and that's how you get marked um, as present for your attendance as far as attendance goes. So there is attendance even if you're at home and it, it does require you to at least log in once for each class during the day. Okay, again, once again, I'm Mr. Delamar. This is room H122 upstairs when you get here. Um, if I'll, I will post this, this will be posted on Google Classroom, but so hopefully you already have these codes. Um, but if you know of anybody that doesn't, you can maybe get these codes to them so that they can tune in through the Google Classroom stuff. Okay, really excited about meeting you guys. I love literature, it's one of my favorite things. I love teaching um, American literature, it is my jam. I love bringing music and stuff into it. And like I said, I, I really hope that you will bring uh, your interest because this is your class too. And it should be designed based on who we have in each class. And so we should cater to those interests and things as well as just ringing the bells um, of the curriculum. We, there's what we have to do and there's what we want to do. And sometimes you can find ways to uh, make those two mesh together. Does that sound like a plan? Uh, please be, be flexible because things are subject to change. You know, um, just understand that I'm always working to make it uh, most um, accessible to all students. Okay, and if you ever have questions or you feel like you're getting behind, don't hesitate to email me and I will try to respond in a timely way. And um, just don't wait until you know you feel like you're lost go ahead and ask questions and I'll get back with you and um, you know if you don't know you ask and then you find out all right so looking forward to it gang um, Tuesday I'll see cohort a here okay unless anything changes all right looking forward to it guys thank you